Hello there students. In this video we're going to start discussing the topic of motion along a straight line, otherwise known as one-dimensional kinematics. We'll introduce the following topics, position, displacement, and distance. Position simply describes where an object is at a given point in time. Position is relative to a coordinate system of your choice. Choosing a convenient coordinate system can often simplify the mathematics in your problem. For one-dimensional kinematics, a coordinate system is just a number line. If we consider an airplane speeding down a runway before takeoff, we might choose to put the zero of our number line to be where the airplane starts. And then it would travel forward down our number line until it takes off. Its position is x equals zero. Displacement is the change in position of an object. In our airplane example, we know that it starts at the beginning of the runway, where we've placed the zero of our coordinate number line, and it will end at some position to the right on the number line. We label this final position as x sub f. Displacement, delta x, is defined as the final position x sub f minus the initial position x naught, or x sub zero. Let's do an example to understand displacement. If I start at the origin of our coordinate system, making my initial position x sub 0 equal to 0 meters, then walk to this donut, making my final position x sub f equal to 3 meters on the number line, my displacement is simply delta x equals 3 meters minus 0 meters, which equals 3 meters. Now, if there is yet another donut a bit farther down the number line, and I walk to that one from the first donut, in this case, my initial position is at the first donut, or x naught is equal to 3 meters, and my final position is at the second donut, which is x sub f is equal to 7 meters. My displacement, then, from the first donut traveling to the second donut is 7 meters minus 3 meters, which is equal to 4 meters. Let's consider another scenario. I'll start at the origin, and once again, there are two donuts. This time, one donut is in front of me, and the other is behind me. Let's figure out what my displacement is as I travel from the origin to the first donut to the right of me, and then the displacement from the first donut to the second donut. Starting at the origin, my initial position is x naught is equal to 0 meters. I end up at the first donut with the final position of x sub f equal to 5 meters. So my displacement to the first donut from the origin is delta x is equal to 5 meters minus 0 meters, which is equal to 5 meters. Then, suddenly realizing there is another donut, I dash over to it. Starting from the position of the first donut, my initial position is x naught is equal to 5 meters. I walk my way to the second donut, which makes my final position x sub f equal to negative 3 meters. Thus, my displacement going from the first donut to the second is delta x equals negative 3 meters minus 5 meters, which is equal to negative 8 meters. A displacement can therefore be positive or negative, and the sign of the displacement tells us which direction we've traveled along our number line, either positive to the right or negative to the left. Because displacement has both a magnitude and a direction, we know that displacement is a vector, but we'll cover vectors in other videos. Distance, on the other hand, is not a vector, it is a scalar. Distance is defined as the absolute value of displacement. For example, the displacement starting at the first donut on the right and going to the second donut on the left is a negative 8 meters, as we just found. However, the distance traveled from the first donut to the second donut is a positive 8 meters because absolute values are always positive. So, to recap, in this video we learned about position, displacement, and distance in one dimensional kinematics. Thanks for watching and learning about physics. If you have any questions, please post a comment on the video or on my Facebook page in the video description.